Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand how to do the prediction for new data set using decision tree in 9. Decision tree is a supervised learning algorithm used for classification and regression task. It splits the data into subsets based on the features of the data set and creates a tree-like structure of decisions to predict the target variable. It's a tree-like model that is constructed by recursively splitting the data set into smaller and smaller subsets based on the most significant features that discriminate between the different classes or values of the target variable. After we create the model, it is necessary that uh, we have to test its accuracy. And the accuracy is uh, tested with the help of confusion matrix. So the example is given in your on your screen. Say for example, that we are having a person having the COVID or a person is a normal and we are having the COVID kit. So, a person is uh, infected with the COVID and the kit also detected that yes, the person is having the COVID. So, 50 such cases are there. It means that the classification is appropriate. A person is normal and the kit also detected that the, yes, the person is normal. So, there are 114 such cases. So, 15 plus 114, 164 classes have been correctly classified using the kit. Same is the case that this is the actual data and this is the predicted data and we want to see how well our algorithm fits to the data. Now, now concentrate here. There are six normal people but the kit detected that they are having the COVID. So six mix, misclassified cases. On the other side, a person was having the COVID but the kit detected that the person is normal. So 22 plus 6, there are 28 misclassified cases. So we want lesser and lesser such numbers. Now, how to do the prediction for the new data set? Let's see in nine. First of all, I'll activate input and output from here. I'll activate the CSV reader as my data set is in the CSV format. I'll double click on it so that I can browse the data set. My data set is hard one. Part one, the new data set is test, which we will uh, use it later on. Click open. Now click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. So our target variable is heart disease. We want to do the uh, classification based on age, cholesterol, resting blood pressure and maximum hours of exercise. So I'll activate the column filter from here where only the selected variables will be considered. Column filter. Double click on it. Now right click on it. Configure. I'll remove all other variables and only include age, uh, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise and heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click and see the filtered table. So now we are having the variables which are our matter of interest. This is our target variable. And these are the independent variables on the basis of which we want to create the model. Let's activate the color manager from here. Right click on it, configure. So let's say heart disease is our target variable. If you want to change the color, you can click on yes and select any color from here. I'll request all my viewers to please refer my play playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME as well as uh, other uh, algorithms like decision entry, new bias and support vector machines. So please refer my playlist, click OK. Now I will activate the partitioning of the data set. Let's execute this and then partitioning. We want to divide the data into testing and training data set. So activate it. Right click on it, configure. Make sure you activate stratified sampling as we want to do the stratification according to the hard disease. 
I'll keep this as 80. 80% 80 goes for training and 20% goes for testing. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now let's activate the decision tree learner. Right click, execute. Uh, right click and first you configure. Check that the hard uh, the class column consists of hard disease, which is our target variable. Quality measure is a guinea index. Pruning, no pruning. Everything else remains same. Click OK and right click on it and execute. Now again, right click on it and see the decision tree view. How to interpret this decision tree? We, will, we have already discussed. Kindly refer my previous video how to do the interpretation of this. Now, let's activate the predictor from here. And connect this partitioning from this node to this node. So 80% will go in the learner. And the, on the basis of this learner, we will predict for new data set, which is remaining 20%. Right click on it and configure. Make sure that you do the two ticks here. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the same decision tree view again. But this is for the testing data set. That is the remaining 20% of the data. Next thing we will, which we want to do is we want to see that how well our prediction has been done. If I right click on it and you see the classified data, this is the original data set. And this is the prediction done according to the model. So what we want to do, we want to generate the confusion matrix, which we had discussed here earlier, this matrix. We want to generate that how well the classification has been done by the algorithm. So for this, we will activate the scorer from here. Scorer. Now right click on it and configure. Make sure that you activate the hard disease prediction. Hard disease is on. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the confusion matrix from here. View the confusion matrix. Now, how to interpret this confusion matrix? Let's try to understand. 52 are such cases in which a person was not having the heart disease and the algorithm also predicted correctly. 75 are such cases in which the person was having the heart disease based on the independent variables and the algorithm also predicted correctly. So 52 plus 75 are correctly classified cases. So you can see the summation of 52 plus 75 is 127 and the accuracy level is 69 percentage. Now if I talk about this part, a person was having the heart disease but algorithm predicted that the person is not having. Similarly here, a person was not having the heart disease and the algorithm predicted that he or she is having the heart disease. So 27 plus 30, 57 are wrongly classified cases. So our accuracy score should be more than 70%. Then only we can say that the model is better, at least somewhat better. Close this. Now, with the help of this learner, we want to do the prediction for the new data set. Right? So again, I will activate the input output from here, input and output from here, activate the CSV reader. Double click on it, browse the data set. And this time I will complete, I will give the completely new data set, which the decision tree learner has never faced it. This one, heart one test, click open. It's a new data set. Click OK. Uh, now I can copy this column filter also. So copy, control V. So first I'll execute this node, execute, connect this. And I will in only include those variables which I had considered while we were running decision tree learner algorithm. So configure. You can see only those variables have been included. Click OK. Quite good. Execute. Again, I'll activate the color manager, copy, control V, so that the color remains the same. Let us check, configure. Yeah, the colors are same, click OK. 
right click on it and execute now we will activate the decision tree predictor So this decision tree predictor will get its data set, the new data set from here, but it's learning. It will get from the previous decision tree learner. Right click on it and configure. Again, click on both these boxes, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the classified data. So these are the 10 new data which have been given to the algorithm. This is the prediction which has been done and this is the original data set. Now I, we want to see that how well the prediction is. So for this, I will uh, copy this scorer node here. Connect this. Configure. Heart disease is the first column and second column is prediction of the heart disease. Click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the confusion matrix. So five plus three, eight cases have been correctly classified. Two cases have been wrongly classified. So this is a way you can do the prediction for a new data set in nine. For more videos on nine, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on nine.